So guys, today we're gonna undervolt this i9 12900K. Well, this is a 12900KF actually, but the CPUs are the same. And this is gonna help you if you wanna reduce the temperatures, reduce the power consumption while keeping pretty much the same performance. And we will also help you fine tune it if you need it for productivity or for gaming, and depending on what system you are. This is gonna work for Z690, but also for every B660 or B760 boards out there. So let's get to work. Okay, so here we are. It's gonna be a pretty simple tutorial you just need to get into the BIOS first of all and now go under the overclocking section or the advanced section of your BIOS this will vary depending on your motherboard now you want to set overclocking explore mode to expert right there and now first of all I will show you the easy and quick thing that everyone can do okay you just go all the way down all the way down right there until you find CPU core voltage mode now you want to go in there and set it to offset and you want a negative offset of minus 0 0.05. So let's go and let's input it, okay? Select the mode, negative, and now on the voltage offset, you input 0 0.05, right there. And this pretty much means you have already finished the tutorial. This is gonna be the biggest thing for you. A little tip. The better your power supply, the lower you can go here, because the reason we're able to do this undervolting easily and they don't do it out of the box is that they tune it to run on the worst conditions. So even uh, at the highest temperature and with the worst power supply, stock is gonna work, but with a good power supply, this is gonna work. And with a very good power supply, you might be able to go as low as 0 0.065. The lower you go, so the higher that number, the better the CPU is running, okay? So this is the first step to reduce temperature, reduce overheating, stop throttling, do this. But this is not everything. So something else that you can do, oh, also on some motherboard, if you do this and nothing happens, there might be an undervolting protection that you need to disable, but it will vary depending on the motherboard. But try this out, this should work on most motherboards. Now, if we go on digital power, we have something called load line calibration control, okay? So what this does, as explained by the graph, is it corrects the voltage. We actually want the voltage to drop a bit, but not too much. So if you wanna fine tune your undervolting, you can play around with this too. So referring to our graph, this is motherboard dependent, but you will want something like a seven offset, which is basically if four is the flat line and eight is the absolute zero line, you want it like in the middle, okay? So we could set it to level seven, but this, just try it, your results may vary. But now there is something else that we can do, okay? That is really gonna help you if you're just gaming, okay? So if you're just gaming, you don't need efficiency cores, okay? Because this CPU has already eight cores and 16 threads, which are more than enough to game, so there is no reason to keep all the other cores enabled that will just increase your power consumption, right? So what you can do is just disable them. So how do you disable them? Well, it will vary depending on your motherboard a bit, but usually they are under settings, advanced, and then something like CPU configurations. Now, I think this time they're not there, so I did a bit of a fail live. Okay, so in this case they are under OC, advanced CPU configuration, you just hit there. And then as you can see, it will say something like active e -cores. So if you go there and you set zero, this will basically disable all your efficiency cores and will dramatically, guys, dramatically lower your power draw and temperature. So if you're just gaming, you don't need these, you can disable it. But if you're doing productivity work, multi-threaded work, uh, of course, don't do this and just do the offset. So this was just a short tutorial. This is pretty much it. Uh, I will also say another couple of things in case you want to stay here, uh, things you can try. So online, you might find guides that recommend you set an static voltage. So for example, they often recommend 1.2 volt on the CPU. And uh, that is good, but uh, it's gonna overvolt your CPU during idle um, a little bit, well, de depends on how you set it, but basically uh, by not allowing your CPU to speed shift, 
it's going to actually increase the power consumption uh, um, during certain scenarios. So I do not recommend it. I, I recommend the offset settings. There is also a way um, I will quickly show you, uh, and I will also tell you why I do not recommend it. Um, if you go here, other than offset, you could uh, choose adaptive mode. Um, that way you can just undervolt the CPU while it's under lowered, but I find it's a bit trickier to de determine stability. So I just recommend you follow this. And of course, enable your XMP for your RAM. Remember to do that. And so this is it, guys. If it was helpful, drop a like and a sub. And please, if you have any kind of doubts, drop a comment. I will help you out. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.